To say it's the most anticipated smartphone camera ever is probably not an exaggeration, but before we check that out, we have to get inside the box. I'm Michael Fisher, this is Pocket Now, and this is the Nokia Lumia 1020. Let's see what's inside the package. So another year, another Lumia, another bit of unremarkable AT&T packaging. You have to hand it to AT&T. The carrier uh, is just not terribly interested in making devices stand out. Uh, just the device model name and number on the side. Uh, there's some barcode stuff which is covered up there. This is just some uh, information about the lithium ion battery and the device color. A little spoiler there showing us that we are getting the yellow one. Very exciting in the absence of cyan. And on the back, we've got just the product image, the Nokia Lumia 1020, uh, apparently black device pictured on all of the boxes, irrespective of color, unless that label on the side is wrong. We'll find out in a second. Say the box is pretty underwhelming, uh, just like most of them out of AT&T are though. So no advantage or disadvantage there. Let's pop it open and take a first look at this device. Ooh. Got a little spoiled there. This is just a quick start guide, so they make you wait a second to see the device itself. We pull it aside, and <laughs> there's yet another spoiler in here. Uh, probably a good bit of information though. Learn to take great photos. That is a solid idea. We'll read about that maybe a little later. And bam, wow. Look at that vibrant yellow color on that polycarbonate. First time taking the Lumia 1080 out of its box. Texting and driving it can wait. Good advice from AT&T as always. We'll Flip it over to see its distinguishing characteristic, and wow, there it is. All right, before we get too enamored with this, let's put it aside and see what else is in the box here. I'm sure we've got some more promotional stuff. Oh, a poster. Guys, we can get a poster with this. That's pretty rad. What's the poster for? What's it, What's the poster about? Like, is it, wait a, wait a poster, like you take your own photo? What do you, you take your own photo? Oh yeah, oh. Yeah, you can take a photo and make it into a poster. Hey, that's rad. Probably took me a little longer than it should have to figure that out, but I'm pretty excited. Uh, the gentle rattle you hear when shaking your Lumia 1020 is the sound of blur-free photos. So they are warning you ahead of time that the device will make funny sounds when you shake it because of that optical image stabilization. Smart move, guys. Saved yourself a whole lot of customer service calls. Here's your product and safety information here. What else is in here? We have a SIM removal tool on the inside here. Uh, your typical power adapter and USB cable. We can put those aside, micro USB, obviously. And this is a wrist lanyard. You don't see these included very often these days, so interesting to see that. Anything else in the box here besides the SIM removal tool? Negative, just some toy binoculars if you have an infant. Otherwise, the box is empty. We can get it out of here. Take a look at the device. So bringing the device back to front and center, we can do our typical screen protector removal here to have a gander at that beautiful display. Let's do that. Quiet, please. There that goes. And I believe there's another one waiting around back here. Uh, another duo, actually. One of them protecting the camera module itself. Wow, that's stuck on there. Very nice, that camera module, I believe, made out of exposed uh, aluminum or coated aluminum, and the back protector coming off as well. Beautiful. That protector comes off, you can see that this is uh, not a glossy finish, as we know, this is the matte finish. On the back here, you can see the little glare on the reflective elements of the camera lens there, that 41 megapixel lens with the lens protector in place, the xenon flash next to it, a little spotlight down there. Let's get a close up here, because this is something special. We can actually see the uh, callouts for that pure view Carl Zeiss lens there. What a beautiful contrast it is between the black and the yellow there. I know I talked uh, un uncomplimentarily about the uh, color choice on this device, but the yellow really, really does look smashing in person. So now that we have our microphone back in the proper orientation and the device in hand, everything else cleared out, we can tell you how we feel about this. Actually, let's pull that bit of uh, additional protector off here. This is just some instructions on, uh, on removing the SIM and inserting your own SIM. I can tell you how this device feels in the hand a little bit. It is, um, it's certainly, once, once all the protectors are off there, I've got both hands invested in this. It's certainly lighter than the 920. It was a little, felt a little heavier coming out of the box. Uh, but let's take a little tour around here. You can see the Nokia smile is no more, as we saw in our hands-on video from New York. There's our SIM tray, probably a noise-canceling mic, and a headphone jack up top. 
These buttons on the side, I believe, are aluminum. They are no longer the ceramic that was on the Lumi 920, but they're also not the plastic of the 928, so that's very nice. There's the speaker on the bottom. Some of the uh, some of the stamps there were probably out of focus there a little bit, sorry. There's the speaker on the bottom, USB port, some stamps there, and there's that wrist lanyard hole if you're into wrist lanyards and nothing on the left-hand side. We already had a look at the back, which is amazingly cool looking. And we're back to the front. So before I can compliment this device too much more, let's go ahead and press power. We'll give it a first boot. There's our confirmation buzz. There's our AT&T splash screen, which we expect to see. Let's give it a little zoom action there on this display. You can also see the AT&T branding. You can just make it out uh, next to the Nokia branding up top. And just to make sure while we wait for the boot here that you do not miss any of our other Nokia Lumia 1020 content because there is quite a bit of it, make sure and follow us on social media down below there, YouTube, Facebook, Google+, Twitter. There's the Windows Phone splash screen, and you can follow me at Captain Two Phones, Boomtown. There is the Windows Phone 8 landing screen. And uh, just because I simply can't wait uh, until we start filming the next video, I'm going to go ahead and press and hold and activate the camera there. And I expected the lens to pop out when I activated the camera, but instead uh, we are dumped into a tutorial, which is actually really great because we get to, you have the option to skip it, but if you do not, you get to learn how to use the camera. And I suspect I'm gonna be making a video on that pretty shortly. So for now, we'll just leave it at that. This was your unboxing of the Nokia Lumia 1020. Folks, if you're seeing this unboxing video, it means there's other Lumia 1020 content at pocketnow.com and here on our channel page on YouTube. So check it out. But before you go anywhere, please leave us a like if you did enjoy the video. Leave us a comment if you have a question about the device, a suggestion, something you'd like us to cover in depth. And make sure to follow us on social media once again so you don't miss future content on the Lumia 1020 and other devices, smartphones, tablets, every mobile device you can think of. Once again, I'm Michael Fisher with Pocket Now. Thank you for watching. We'll see you very soon.